Okay, folks, so uh, Mr. Rojo Neck wants to give you guys the word of the day today. The word of the day is pigeon. Okay. There's a trail tale for that story. There is a trail tale that will someday come about the pigeon or the pigeons. So, okay, folks, well, here we've got this is the base valve. Remember, we took it out of the bottom of the fork, and just like we did with the shock. You take and grind the, the center section of the nut. <laughs> okay. You grind the center section, including the nut, down <laughs> to a nubbin, okay? Happens in the shop. Happens in stays the shop, in stays the shop. in the shop. So basically we've got this, uh, we've all filed it down on the grinder, filed it down so we could get the nut off. This is staked. If you don't do this, it'll damage the base valve. And you take that off. And all this stuff is stacked in order. And this is the piston. If you look, these little holes right here, that's where the oil flows through during compression. Oil will flow through into these, past these shims. And as it squirts past the shims, the number of these shims, the diameter, the thickness, all has to do with how much force is required for that oil to go past. And so these, one, two, three, four, five, six, these first six, our low speed compression, now this little small shim right here is what's called a crossover. It actually is just a small shim in between these that allows these shims to flex um, a little bit. If there's too much force, they'll flex them, they'll start to they'll go past this and then start pushing into these high speed compression shims. So we haven't written it down yet, but we're going to measure each one of these, write them down in order, and then uh, think about the characteristics of what this shim stack would do and how we would might want to soften maybe this, the, low, the high speed, which would be these. Maybe we remove one or two, or maybe we use a little smaller diameter or use less of them. Uh, we'll think about that. And if we want to firm up or lessen the high speed compression, excuse me, low speed compression right here, we can add or subtract shims or put thinner ones in. The tough part is if you have too many of these in, it makes the forks really harsh. So, so a lot of times people will end up decreasing the, the shimming there. So anyway, that's just kind of a brief overview as we get ready to revalve these front forks. Um, we're kind of screwed here. Uh, we got all these shims. We don't know where, to, where they go or how they're supposed to go. <laughs> just playing. Okay, just so you can, it's hard to see, I'm sure, on the camera. Um, but uh, this is the base valve again that goes in the bottom of the fork. We've ground this top part off, taken the knot off, um, chamfered the thread so it all could go back together nicely. This is the new shim stack and what we've done because we're going to be adding a little bit of weight to the bike. You kind of see those shims that flex a little bit there. We've added a little bit of low speed compression dampening. In other words, we've added two shims to that and we've changed the high speed stack so that it's a little bit more compliant over sharp edged bumps and braking bumps. So we have written down here the changes that we've made. Uh, this is where we started. We've written down the changes so if, if it works well and we like it, um, if anybody else is interested we can provide you that information. By the way, uh, people may wonder well, where do you get your shims? Um, I get them from uh, RG3. Um, RG3, you can uh, look that up and you can uh, tell them the sizes that you want and they'll ship them to you. Very cheap, uh, very, very cheap. So um, anyway, so when we get the other stuff, we're going to go ahead and put this fork leg back together, do the same on the other one, and put it back in the bike. Okay, everybody, I promised to show you this. Uh, this is the top cap that came off of the fork tube. And you'll see two... Uh, well, one's really an adjuster, the other one is a bleed hole. This uh, flat blade regular screwdriver deal right here is where you adjust the softness or the hardness of the rebound. Um, this is at the top of the fork tube, so as you adjust this counterclockwise, that softens or speeds up the rebound. As you go clockwise, it hardens or firms the rebound. So that right there is the rebound adjuster. Now this piece right here is what we said was uh, considered the uh, the base valve uh, right here is the new shim stack it's kinda hard to see in the video but um, this is where we changed the the shims 
and this goes in the bottom of the fork leg and now you can see this little center regular screwdriver dial right here that is what shunts the oil past the shim stack or bypasses it to make the compression either more firm or harder or softer so as you rotate this clockwise it shunts more oil past the shim stack and makes it more firm as you go counterclockwise it actually bypasses the shim stack and bleeds it off making it softer so um, just so you kind of recognize that when you go to make your adjustments.